Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Novus Inceptio. And it is a game where the world has become devoid of humans. And a digital or uh, animatronic species has revived you from the DNA of, of uh, the original humans or the last humans. And you are trying to survive in this world, but it's not what it seems originally because um, it's not only your world that you're going to visit, but it is other worlds. And um, that's pretty much the basic of what I understand. The survival aspect is very hard in this game. Um, and we'll we'll go over that in just a minute um pretty much what you have to do is you have to build your skill in and say blacksmithing to be able to gain skill in this other thing um you also to be able to say make a sword you have to be able to uh, learn these other skills um as well and, and that's really kind of um a complicated way of saying everything but let me go ahead and press f2 real quick i've already gone through the tutorial um and i've played the game a little bit just to try to figure it out um so pretty much what you need to do is you need to scavenge the world um and get different items so what we'll do is we'll come out into this area here and we'll go ahead and press one this is botany and it'll look for seeds it'll look for different herbs and then you press two and this is where it's actually looking for um food and drink or well not drink but food and other kinds of um materials so you'll have a chance whenever you actually are harvesting to get ore. Like right there, I just got copper ore there. Um, but you can also get tools to allow you to mine ore. And um, it's, just a, it's just a different kind of game than what I'm used to. But um, I've kind of gotten the understanding of how it works. So... Well, I, I can't say that I got the understanding of it, but here here we go. Now, the only way we'll really figure out if I, if I truly understand what's going on here is if this turns green. Well, see, we've already, it's saying that we are already tailoring one. So this is green. It's going to, it's not going to fail. Let me see this. Um, let's see here. Come on. This is my character sheet. You can see I don't have any clothing on. Uh, but if we go to skills, um, we are actually two in botany, uh, two in climbing, and fishing, foraging, and nature. But it doesn't say that we're in tailoring. Anyway, saying that apparent. Oh! By okay, so it's gonna be under botany is what this is going to be under. So let's go ahead and craft. Let's actually go ahead and set max autofill and craft all of those because we're gonna need to make tons and tons of fiber. Uh, this is what we'll be able to make our first set of armor with, and um, and so on. We're gonna want to check trees as well, bark, resin. We definitely need to get resin. That'll make uh, allow us to make torches. I don't know how that actually works, <laughs> but we'll figure it out as well. Press F to get branches, and branches allow us to make different crafting devices. By the way, this is A2A. This is what allows us to do the crafting. It is also a second storage for us, so if I press I, it'll show us our inventory, and then press uh, N, It'll show his inventory or its inventory. So we'll, we'll put those like that. And then we'll go ahead and press X. Okay, so X, that's already in the place that I want it to be. And then uh, we already have our character sheet over here. And um, yeah. 
So here's where it starts getting really hard. If we go to survival, you'll see that this is blue. This requires nature substance um, two. I don't know what that means, but you can see here that we don't have enough skill. Um, so it, we, as we make items, the skill will go up and the, the chance of being able to make it will go up. Same with campfire. This will go up as we're uh, as we get fire making up, I guess. So it's just weird. The one thing that is the very very hardest for us to do is these. We need carpentry to be at ten. So it means that we're going to need to chop down a lot of trees, and then we're going to need to um, go to raw, and we're going to have to rip those into planks. This is carpentry also, so this is what I'm planning to do, is that um, we're going to need to get a lot of tools, a lot of things, um, a lot of stone. Um, hit F, we should be able to get stone there. Um, and just and just go at it. I mean, pretty much that's the only thing I can think to do, is just do my best to get all the resources that I can to get started. Then once I'm able to make tools, then I take those tools and... What the heck is that? Oh, I'm not even touching that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Um, because I don't have... I want to I wanna actually get the game under control. Where I understand what's happening in the here and before going into that. Because I believe that takes you to another dimension. And... I don't want to worry about that. Also, you start at age 18, and around age 75 is when you will die. Now, you'll see that it says that um, you're the first generation of the humans, or the... Oh, we got a fossil, too. Cool. Um, no clue what that's for. Uh, this is what the ore looks like. That's copper. And then you'll be able to tell by the other colors what they are. But, um, yeah, so those take you to other dimensions, other locations. I don't know, I don't think they're within this world, but, uh, definitely, definitely things that we're gonna, wow, it's devoid of anything here. We're gonna need to get leather as well. Okay, there we go, there we go, leaves. Let's keep harvesting. We definitely need to try to get seeds as well. Okay. Not getting much here. So let's go ahead and get some of this and then we'll see what we can actually start making. Um, yeah, no more there. All right, so let's go ahead and hit X and N. And we're going to go ahead and go to parts. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a lot of thread. Uh, not thread, but fiber. And I think I've already made some. Did I not make some? Yeah, I made some. I made some, I think. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and craft those. And then we need to make rope. Go ahead and set that to... What? We can only... Oh my goodness. It just feels like it takes so much to do to do things in this game. Um, Alright, so now we need to go ahead and create this. I really don't care what kind of wood. We don't have very much anyway. And set that to max as well. We'll just craft as many as we can. And then later on, we'll probably get rid of them if we don't need them anymore. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and go to this. And we're going to go autofill. Actually. Um, do that. And we'll use stone. There we go. Craft two of those. Because they're 100% chance to make them. And of course it makes one that's made out of pine. So let's make another one. 
And we'll make another one out of... Uh, I'm not going to waste that. I'm not going to waste that. Um, then we need to make two blades out of stone. We can set that to two, I think. Oh, we haven't made our hammer. Okay, so let's go. Tools. Tools go to the hammer. What are we missing? Autofill. We are missing the handle. Okay. <laughs> handle. Stoot. Autofill. Craft those. Okay, that's part of carpentry as well, apparently. So that will help us. Um, Alright, tools. And a hammer. Um, autofill. There we go. We'll go ahead and change that out. And we'll go ahead and craft our hammer. Hammer goes on our tool belt right here. And now that we have the hammer, we should be able to go back to parts. And go to blade. And go to stone. Craft. And craft. There we go. Tools. Pickaxe. Um, there we go. Handle. Rope. Craft. There we go. Alright. Things are happening. <laughs> Alright, now what I need to do is I just need to harvest more leaves or more, um... There we go. E. Pick leaves. There's 14 on this one. Nice. And there's another one over here. Let's go ahead and pick more leaves. It's so hard sometimes just to find where you can pick leaves. Ooh, look at that. Fossil. Okay. And I think th this thing over here, this is actually, is it not? Yeah, this is, um, let's go ahead and hit F first. And then E. This is a, um, unher a herb that's in the area. It usually is abundant. You usually get around 12 to 14 per, um, just looking, making sure. Go ahead and just go to all of these. And leaves are just one of those things that you just need to get tons of. Make tons of that that, that fiber. And then turn it into other things. Um, let's see. Just keep going here. Okay. And it's giving us more leaves instead of the actual um, other stuff. Okay, let's do this first. I think this is used in cooking as well. And then we'll go ahead and do E to pick leaves. Alright, so now then, we should be able to go into here... And go into parts, fiber, autofill, set max. All right, this is what I'm talking about. So while that's doing that, let's go into here. And let's see what that's actually affecting. If it's affecting anything. Because, I mean, is it, is it affecting anything? I wonder if it, once you hit max, it can't affect your skill. Oh, that's going to suck so much. <laughs> if that's true. Um, yeah, that's going to be annoying. Okay, so we need to make, since we have so many, let's go ahead and make uh, five rope. Actually, let's go ahead and make ten. Ten rope. Actually, what's the autofill? 10. Autofill. There we go. 
three, four, five. Actually, that's going to be fine. And then um, we'll go ahead and go into, not fiber, but thread, autofill. And we'll make those. And then we'll go in here. We'll autofill that. Set that to max. And we don't have the sewing kit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay um oh we got this um we need okay let's hit in we need blades we need two blades craft that we got we got a handle and we got a rope so we should actually, you know what, the whole, the whole thing I'm, I was thinking about here, I need to now get stuff off of this tree. <laughs> um, F. Because the axe doesn't use the same materials as everything else. So we should be able to now go in here, make an axe, autofill that. Because I forgot that it doesn't require blades and craft that nice okay go ahead and throw that on here oh, do we have the stuff to make the saw autofill we'll go ahead and make a saw right we're, we're on our way <laughs> um, now what we need to do is we need to start Chopping these down. This is going to take a while because I'm going to need to chop these down. That I need to get all the logs out of them. And then I'm going to um, rip the logs into planks. And I doubt that's going to be enough for me to be able to... I, I don't think that's going to give me skill that I need. Or give me the skill that I need. But we'll, we'll see. Okay, so we are back... And I, uh, I ended up going and harvesting a lot of stuff. And we are now going to head down here. Actually, I think there might be some ore as we go down there. Um, yeah, there's some ore there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start setting up our camp. Setting up things. Now, I know that B is build mode. But I don't know what that actually means what that actually allows us to do so we're gonna play with that a little bit but i think first off we need to just start getting um into doing some smelting uh also start getting some uh get our anvil together and just get to the point where we're getting ready to make one of our benches the carpenter bench is the first one we have to make so we need to just get our carpeting skill up to that level and i've done pretty well so far i think uh let's see skill carpentry i'm almost three now i mean three out of ten is still a long way to go but it's better than nothing <sighs> It just it feels like it's gonna take a long time. So as I if you press F2, you can see the the um, help system and level zones. What? Okay, so I'm learning things as we go along. That gardening help in progress. Thank you for uh, okay. Um, fighting die aging. <clears throat> so this is where it says that um, whenever you get around age 75, you will die, but uh, you will not lose skills or gear when you die. I, I think that's pertaining to this up here, and then it says your generation level affects different aspects of the game. If you die a different way, then... Um, uh, then just of old age, I guess is what it's saying there. Your age and generation is not affected. So if you die, like by a wolf or something like that, then it's like you're continuing on from where you left off. But you will not uh, lose skill or gear when you die. 
So, I... Oh, anyway, anyway. Um, wait a minute. Let's go back. Let's go back in here. Uh, what was that, um, level thing? Level zones. The level of monsters is increased the further you are from the starting tower. Normal, normally aggressive mob, uh, monsters not attacked. Okay, wait. Normally aggressive monsters will not attack. Or, or I, I, you have to decode it a little bit. Uh, monsters not attacking by themselves when when have a level lower than three. So pretty much what that's saying is that monsters won't automatically attack you if their level is below three. Or maybe they won't attack you when you are below three. I don't know. Level increase, uh, increases to all states of monsters like HP, attack, and defense. So whenever uh, you find a level two or level three or level five monster, all of their stats increase. I think it's just that they need to go back through and fix a lot of the... Okay, I know about that. Die. When you die. Okay, when you die, so. Okay, oh, it hurts my mind. <laughs> it hurts my mind. So it says, when you die, so your A2A recycles your body. Okay, when you die, your. Let's take that out. Uh, your A2A recycles your body and takes your D DNA sample and all of your items. At this time, you control A2A and you have to find the nearest cloning station when you can make it to a new clone form. Okay, okay, that makes that makes sense. So as long as you're keeping your skills, I mean, if I'm doing all of this and I'm not keeping my skills, it's going to be kind of um, annoying, I think. But, um, okay, we're getting low on food, like extremely low, and we're getting low on, on water. Um, so let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit, maybe, um, because that's, that's the situation that we're dealing with. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm, I got to get all the ore because the more ore I get, whenever I start smelting, the more blacksmithing I get. So it's, 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 um, a double edged sword. So if I go, I, I want to go get food and drink, but I feel that if I don't get all the ore, it's going to, it's going to hinder me. All right. So we can just walk up to the water and drink. Uh, because uh, luckily the world is a better place and there is no negative bacteria. Um, we'll take a second drink just to say thank you very much. We'll go ahead and press um, I. And we'll fill up our bottles. Because we're going to need those for other things. There we go. Alright, so we're going to just, um, let's say, yeah, here. Oh, well, it's a little bit flatter over here. Let's go over here. We'll clear up the crabs if we have to. But um, we need to go ahead and make a... need to make kindling. Um, how much do I have? Okay, so let's go ahead and say 15 then. Or 20. 20 is good. Autofill, craft it. So we'll make kindling... All right, we don't need that much kindling. Maybe, maybe I thought there was it was a little bit different than, than what it was. Okay, so we're gonna make this, um, which is fire making skill. We don't have good fire making skills, so we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it, and we got it. We okay, so we were able to make the fire. All right, so let's go ahead and take this. We're gonna go ahead and place this right here. And then we're going to go ahead and light the fire. 
and we're gonna go ahead and press G because we need to burn some wood to get ash we're gonna do let's see so take we have 13 minutes on this fire all right and then we're gonna hit H and we're gonna pick up all the ash this is used to make lime um, for leather working okay let's go ahead and go into Q and we're gonna go ahead and autofill set max of course our cooking is not uh, very high because it's probably at level one so we're gonna go ahead and just make it until it tells us that it has a problem and you'll see that our skill will go up as, as we go up in skill craft Out of film. Keep going. Keep going until all of it's made. Out of film. And it's rain. I hate the rain in this game. It's so bad. Keep going, keep going. Our cooking is definitely getting better. We're at 70% now. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in to X. Or I'm sorry. Go to here. We're gonna eat until we're full, or until we're out of out of food. Oh yeah, that was a good one. There we go. We're at 100%. So we should be good for a while. Um, all right. So now we need to go ahead and go into here and hit Q. I don't know why I got out of it. I got my hammer. We're gonna go ahead and set max and autofill. And then we're gonna do all 90 whatever. And then we're going to have to start doing some um, tool making because we need to get all of our tools uh, made out of metal, hopefully iron, though it's showing that we have a lot of copper. We definitely want to have iron tools. Uh, definitely going to probably do a fishing pole as well because I've never used that and would like to just see what that's like. And um, yeah. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it here and then next time we're going to go ahead and move forward with getting crafting done uh, as far as trying to work towards getting our carpeting to um, to 5 or 10, 10 and then getting our blacksmithing to, um, uh, to 5. It's just going to take so much work. And that's that's the hardest part about the whole thing but anyway we are going to be able to now uh, before we leave before we leave we'll go ahead and make this just because um, it is wow we have 60 iron um, let's we don't have to there we go we'll go ahead and craft that got an anvil and then we'll go ahead and get in here let's sort that out place it and we have to have this place right next to our fire and I'm want to have it like right there and that way I can actually work on it from here all right but anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and end it here hopefully you enjoyed and I will talk to you next time this is Cypher Deck peace out mm -hmm.